Hello, welcome back to the Salty Sea Adventures of Captain Bones and his steak. Mmm, delicious snake burger. Okay, so I have a few problems with the game, but they are mostly solvable. I mean, I don't see myself on the map, so I'm not sure where I am on this map. We are still on the big island, that dead giant's island. And I see a lot of stuff over here, but not all of it is interactable, so I guess we are out of luck. I assume we are... Oh, we are over here, okay. I'm really curious about that crossover there, I mean... Uh, it's the pirate's curiosity, so... Will it have the fallout thingy where you have treasure under the cross? Or this is just nothing, okay, I guess it... My suspicion is that this is nothing, but we'll see. Hmm. Well, I guess there was nothing. My suspicion was for nothing. I should probably just do the main mission, I'm just wasting time over here right now. But in a way I also like like I also like wasting the time because it allows me to explore, even though exploration is not really rewarded at this point of the game. Remember we are still in hand holding mode. We by the way so over here this is where we landed. With the thing we needed. Now really, this is a village. You can upgrade your ship with better cannons, better stuff over there. So it's probably going to be one of the hubs for the game. Damn. I'm disappointed that there is nothing to loot, nothing to see, nothing to interact with. You just collect more and more resources that you don't need. I also don't want to build fireplaces all over the island because that would be tedious and boring. So I guess for now we should just focus on, you know, completing the main quest. So hello there. Now finally I find something useful. I think the island used to belong to some knights until the pirates came as you can see and they made a mess of things. I like this mini game. It's not too hard and it's... Better than okay. Free space in the inventory. Intermediate level merchant. There's no space in front of me. There is no space in front of me. So I assume this island was attacked by pirates and the pirates won. Yeah, I wish this was a thing so I can just throw everything away super fast. There is space in front of you. There is space in front of you. There is no space in front of me. I guess the best way to do it is to just throw them into the water like this. Eh, nice physics. There is no space in front of me. And since weapons have durability, I have a very very big suspicion that we'll need a lot of it. We need a lot of everything. And just like I used to say about all the games I used to play, it needs more of everything. <laughs> but this game seems to have a really good balance, like I said, except for the fact that you don't have a lot of interactables and the enemies tend to spawn, so if you kill them once and they spawn again, they might spawn in your face. So I had to run away from the hangman, because he spawned right next to me. I guess not all of the merchants are ready for our business now. She has such a mean look on her. <laughs> well, I guess I should have brought my ship over here. Okay, that, that scared me a little bit. Hmm, that's a nice looking sword.
Yeah, let's focus just on the main task from now on. But the game is so beautiful, I don't know. It's not like it's... Um, yeah, it looks a lot like landscape, but still it's... It has a lot of its own things. <laughs> dead soldiers, dead soldiers everywhere. Like, the, the, the pirates were very, very busy, just... Oh, that scared me again, executing everyone. I guess it's not so bad since there's no one to, you know, hunt me down and kill me. Also, I think from now on we'll get the craft book in this form. And every time I we turn, I think we need water. Also, there's a button to craft all, so yeah, I was not watching it. I think it, it's right click to craft everything you can of that particular item. But this curse is stupid, I mean, it just slows you down so much in the beginning. Why do you cannot, you cannot attack while you're in skeleton form? Fine, you cannot do anything. Can you use a stick? Uh, yeah, he can use a sharp stick. <laughs> I love that skeleton over there. And those creams. So yeah, if you have enough gold, you can basically buy everything and never ever have to do anything related to work. But at the same time, uh, I guess it's a long way until you have that possibility. I guess the good thing is that civilians don't attack us. And that hangman was the only guard around here. Also I searched around the place but there was nothing to steal or nothing to interact with. There are just the merchants, she sells food. He sells stuff for your ship like upgrades. And the problem is we need planks and iron nails to repair the ship right now, which will be terrible for us. I hope that that's the cave run. I hope that, I mean, I hope that's the cave bazaar. I'm not sure that... Just might be the location we came from, so ah. I guess we'll see in a minute what it's here. No, don't hit don't We hit again something. I guess that's the problem of the game. The ship is very hard to control, especially when you have no port. Port. Oh, can they make this a little less scary? I'm also running out of food very, very fast. You just parkour your way through the through the skeletons and the other stuff. Hmm, I see shiny. Me likes shiny. I mean, we are a pirate right now, so we have to investigate all of the chests. Oh, nice, a pirate cutlass. Die on me. Well, we do have some health regeneration. 
I heard the sword being drawn and that was not me. Oh, I wish I would have... Now this is pretty sneaky, so if I... If I sit like this, nothing can happen to me, right? I guess nothing can happen to us. Come on, drop down. Right, to be honest, I think I don't have a choice. I just have to build a campfire over here. Please don't get stuck. I can't build this here. Okay, we can build this here. Yeah, I guess we are kind of a bit of a prisoner to the safe system. What can I say? Oh, mighty pirate needs sticks to continue his adventure. Wish we could just throw them away like that. There's no space in front of me. Tools, fire stick. Yeah, we can make so many fire sticks. Yeah, rub the sticks together, make fire, and then we can probably kill that guard over there before we turn again into a skeleton. Well, to be perfectly fair, I don't think we need to kill this guy, but we'll do it anyway. Just to show that we can kill him, and probably we'll run, probably we cannot kill him. Oh, your health regenerates so fast when it's low. Yeah, the combat system needs a lot more work. Can they hurt each other? That would be a nice plan. Oh, I thought the sword was long enough to hit them. No, it's... It's a problem, so I think the tactic remains the same. Beta hit and then attack. Okay, let's let our health recover. <laughs> yeah, I think the health regeneration is a bit too much. Pro probably the health will be health regeneration will be nerfed at some point. Don't worry, you can still die. Oh, I want to explore so much. I mean, it's probably nothing good to explore or to find. Oh, that's gold. <laughs> A lot of the items are not interactable. So see what I mean? I think that the developer should put more interact. Yep. We see that plus one melee and that is what uh, Rarita... Oh, what was that? I thought, man, I, I hate when I'm watching Twitch and then I decide to make a video and then people decide to do stuff on their Twitch. Yeah, I don't know. It was just a StarCraft 2 stream. It's pretty relaxing to watch StarCraft 2 because it's one of those games you'll never play at, a, at least at not at that level. I guess you can easily escape your pursuers if you just climb on a building. That's so cool over here. I wish we could we could steal all of that stuff. So this is oh, this is the cave room bazaar. Wow. Okay. It really is easy in a cave. Oh, 
Well, that was a lot easier. Well, I guess I cannot steal anything. <laughs> you want a fish? Well, I think I will want a fish. I. This merchant doesn't buy such products. Oh, come on! I came all the way over here and she refuses me. Yeah, let's sell the navy rapiers because we have a lot of them and they don't do enough damage in my opinion as opposed to the pirate cutlass oh, we can sell one of those as well the long sword is probably the one you want to get 40 damage and 100 gold Hmm, there we are. we have a nice inventory right now. Do I want to buy another sword? I mean, we have two swords, and the sword you can get from the executioner spawns. So I guess it's a bit of a waste of time to buy them, since you can uh, kind of exploit the system to spawn them and kill them again. Now, how many do I need? Oh, I have 800 gold. Well. Can I just buy all of them? Okay, we'll buy all of them. There is no space in front of me. Oh, I guess we can just buy another long sword. No, I sold my longsword. Oh, damn. Okay, that's bad. Oh, I guess it has the same price. Okay, I was worried for a moment. This merchant doesn't buy such products. So, can I sell her? This merchant doesn't buy such products. Well, I guess since we cannot buy another sword, we can just buy more meat. I don't have enough gold. Okay, easy, man. <laughs> He's such a character, he, he's getting angry, he doesn't have enough gold. But I guess that's the... Oop! Uh, that's the... Most common feeling these days, I don't have enough gold to buy what I need. <laughs> I also like the fact that they have toilets and everything you need, it's a proper... It's a proper military base or a living camp. Let's explore a little bit on this side. I'm really curious what's here. Oh, I guess this is part of the destroyed island. Or, I mean... This is where the former inhabitants used to be. I guess I can never refuse some treasure, especially if it's in our way. Mmm, cooked fish. Well, that solves a lot of problems. Okay, basically your food problems are solved. Oh, that this is a, oh no, look at this. This is so sad. Okay, apparently we stole some gold from that place. Okay, so just right click. What? What do you need for the edible coconuts? I don't know. Just right click and as you can see, he will make a bunch of them until you decide to stop. Easy man, easy, you won't die. Yeah, this is so sad. You can even see the picture. What is that? Those are crystals or something else, I don't know. And we got some gold from this. I mean, someone buried them, so not all of them are dead. This is the weapon shop. Oh, well, I guess I wanted to see more. Now, my goal in this game is very easy. Get to the point where I don't have anything else to do, and when the next update comes, which will probably be the guns, I can just pick up the game and continue from there. Oh. I need free space in the inventory. 
In the inventory. There is no space in front of me. Sometimes this game is drop in drops me. Uh, take all. Oh, nail is nails are one of the things I need to repair my ship. So let's make space. There is no space in front of me. Well, I guess stones are the most useless things ever. Also, I don't understand why it says steal, since there is clearly no one left alive. I mean, hey, we're stealing from the dead, we're stealing from ghosts, maybe, but... I guess we're not really stealing, we're just, you know, using stuff they can't use. <laughs> nice rooster. Okay, so I guess all of this is meant to kind of give you a little boost in your uh, adventures in the beginning. Oh, so this goes all the way around the island. That's such a cool idea. I think this uh, took a lot of time to develop and to think and to plan. So there's probably something on top of the tower, so I have to check. And after that, we'll, we'll do the quest, okay. I'm, I have no more patience for those guys, so... Eh. Well, I guess I can drink the coconuts and then drop them. Okay, this is going to be annoying, but I have to do it like this. You okay, drink all of the coconuts and then we'll drop them on the floor. <laughs> For the first time our stats are full. There's no space in front of me. There is space in front of you. So how much yeah, it takes only about 10%, so three hits are ten percent, which is enough to kill one of the weaker pirates. I don't see anything shiny over here, so let's go on top of the tower. Well, this might be a mistake and it will cost me a lot of time, but I guess we will see a nice picture. We'll see, we'll have a nice view. Oh, uh, really there's nothing? Okay, for a moment I thought I was going to fall down. But I guess we can go all around the island, since we'll probably end up in the same place. Can you jump? Ah, uh, no, the curse is coming. I'm starting to believe the curse is way too punishing, since it, it you require so much... Wait, what? How? I can't carry more. I'm not sure even what I'm supposed to be carrying, so maybe I can carry more. There's no space in front of me. Oh, now we can open it, okay. 100 gold, okay, that's delicious. Oh, and there's a shipwreck over there as well. Where am I? Probably somewhere over here. Huh, that looks like a nice place to explore.
I don't think I want to jump down. So I guess at this point we have all of the resources we need, even a little extra. Okay, so I guess those are just the rocks. Okay, exploration is so fun over here. I didn't expect an island so big that I needed so much time to explore. Hmm, I guess there are rocks all over the place. This seems like a dangerous fall, I might die. Well, let's eat a fish before we jump to our death. Actually, let's eat more. How can I go down here? Safely. Well, let's let's try. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> it's like we're taking the elevator down. Okay, that was very smooth and easy and painless. Where am I? Oh, they don't attack me when I'm in uh, Captain Bones mode. I guess they cannot bite Bone. Thank you, Snake. You are a very honorable man. A very honorable snake. Okay, that still scares me so, so much. Must explore shipwreck, must. <laughs> I have to do it. Ah, too bad we cannot scavenge any resources from here. What do I need to make a fire? Wood. I can't build this here. Where can I find some trees? Okay, this is annoying. Where can I find some trees? My kingdom for some trees. Is this a hammer or an axe? I think it's a... It's an axe. No, it's a hammer. I don't have all the required items. Rope and a sharp stone, okay. I hope we can buy some better tools later because this is getting so annoying all the time crafting. Okay, I really want to finish this mission in this video, but I also want to save my game. And, okay, we save the game, we search the shipwreck, and then we go to our objective. Campfire requires 5 wood, okay, so when we have 10 wood, we'll go. Free space in the inventory. You don't need free space in the inventory, you are okay. I guess they should allow you to kind of select the resources you want to be in your inventory. Farm leaf food, okay, we're still getting with the soda. Max stack is 10 probably. Yeah, okay, so let's waste more durability. I think you should. Yeah, whatever. It's fine. We'll manage. Get away from there. <laughs> Do we still have our sharp stick? No, we don't have our sharp stick anymore. Oh, we have a sharp stick. Who the fought? The sharp stick is actually your most precious item. 
Oh, the game looks so much better than the daytime as well. Okay, he can build this here. Ah, such a nice game to relax. I mean, yeah, it has some difficulty. I mean, the fights are sometimes too easy, but sometimes they are really hard. And you also have to remember where you are, where you are going and, you know, not have a silly death. Oh, so this chest is in underwater. Oh, okay. There might be more treasure under the sea. <laughs> well, I guess we found the treasure of on this part of the island. sure you can climb this part of the wreck. Okay, come on, let's focus and do this. Broken bottle in the water. I don't think glass will float on the surface like that. not be able to do this. I think we'll just get stuck. Oh, I almost did it over there. What if we can do it from uh, another side? Oh, that's way too far away. I mean, we're not Indiana Jones, we're just a pirate with a curse. This should 100% work, but if it doesn't work here, I guess we can not go on the ship. Well, I don't see anything shiny anyway. Okay, let's give it one more try over here. <laughs> Funny, but the first time I did it, very easy. I guess it doesn't work no matter how hard I try. One more try over here and then we'll go to the princess to rescue her. I mean, I call her a princess, she's not a princess. Okay, one more attempt and then we'll be gone. So curious about the secrets, but that, I guess not every game has need to have secrets. about this side. Well, let's save the game. Just remember, we are burning water and food and even if it's not something we run out, it's pretty annoying to have to do that all the time. Oh, and... Yeah, there's nothing shiny over there. So I could... <laughs> I climbed without any effort on the part of the ship I did... on the part of the ship I didn't want to be. I wish you could pick up that sword that is over there. Okay, I give up, I give up. I 
really wish you'd be, you'd be able to see yourself on the map. I guess we follow the pathway since it will lead us to the part of the island we need to be. It doesn't lead us to the part of the island we need to be. Okay, so how do I get back? Now I'm lost a little bit. I guess that's the danger if you go too much exploring. Yeah, you explore and then you lose track of where you are. Huh. This would have been a great spot to hide the treasure chest. Well, this is better than swimming. Ah, a random plank in the water. I think they also they rendered almost all of the seafloor. So this is also reminding me of more of Subnautica than other games as well. <laughs> I imagine we can have other things bigger than sharks now or later. The Kraken, release the Kraken, the Leviathan, the Sea Serpent, what else is there? Uh, the Jane Crab. Oh, that it reminds me of the sad story, okay. I mean, we have to go faster so we don't turn into a skeleton before we get there. Oh, it's like I've been here 10 years ago. Well, I guess everyone is still dead and nice. <laughs> I think if you exit the game, they'll resurrect. In the slowest stick. The slowest fire stick you have seen in this part of the game. Oh no! Now, where is the blacksmith? The famous blacksmith. I think the developer should show you the way on the map as well. Well, I think it's over there anyway. Let's not hit anything. <laughs> what is the skeleton doing over there? Yeah, I already forgot where the blacksmith was, even though I probably came from here a few minutes ago. No! No! And this is how you ruin a perfect ship. <laughs> And why would you dock over there? What's over there? I guess it's a shop of sorts. No, the game just needs markers because I think I just passed... I think it was over here, but there's the cave. They just passed it, I don't know. The game expects too much from you, I mean, yeah, you will not remember where to go if you don't play the game for one or two days, because this is not like anything else you've played. I 
guess at this point I can just go to the main menu and reload my game. Yeah, they need, they need to introduce some kind of a system that reminds you where you are or where your quest is. Because now I'm virtually lost. <laughs> So I jump over there, I don't worry about dying. Oh, so it's in front of me, okay. Okay, I couldn't see the question mark. I wish there was a way to stop your ship 100%. Okay, let's get out of the ship before we see the destruction we have caused. And here we go with the stick. Someone needs to give this guy a lighter. <laughs> or I don't know. Something faster to light the fire. You want a piece of this? He's actually a little braver than the others. Ooh. Can I just eat my fish in peace, you brute? Okay, looks like there will be no fish eating. You know what, I don't actually need to fight him, I can just... Well, let's play the genius card. It doesn't work, why doesn't it work like that? Oh, maybe you cannot use the gate handle while you are in combat. I guess I can just run away from him and pretend I don't see him. Oh come on, I really have to fight you again, I fought you three times already. And it's just tedious. The monster. Yeah, that's why I don't like to fight him. So at some point he'll just get a lucky hit in and I didn't even see the animation for it. And that's why you save. You are no match for me. I think he just ran past me and then he forgot about me, that's hilarious. Yeah, he just ran past me and he forgot I was here. I don't have a problem with that, it's less work for me. Hi there. Space in the inventory. There's no space in front of me. Ahoy. Okay, so we couldn't buy the crowbar, we had to... Ah! Rescue mission, final part, so I still have to fight the big guy. Ok, 
Okay, I don't care about the water. I mean, bait the attack, you run. And then you get a free attack on him. <laughs> he is very hard to beat without the long sword. He also has a bad habit of doing that sometimes. I mean, the only way to kill him is to make him run into your sword. Which is not always possible. Why is this so annoying? I just don't have the patience for it. I mean, yeah, okay. Now, this is a question about patience and I don't have it anymore. Because <laughs> I need to drink water. I need to do so many stupid things. I'm so tired of this. Oh, it auto saves over here. Why? And where is my crowbar? Oh, the crowbar is over here. Well, okay, I guess it's good that it saves over here. Okay, we got three good hits in. Get out of the bushes, you coward. Sure, we'll make some space in the inventory. Our sword collection is getting so much bigger now. Uh, no, this is how a hero presents itself. Hey, it, you rescued her, what else can happen? Okay, let's finish this in this episode because that was very tedious and we explored a lot and I mean, I guess we got a lot of gold and another skill point. Yeah, I like the dead giant's island. I'll come here again. I wonder why it's called like that. I thought it's going to be something bigger, but I guess there's just a lot of pirates. We are a pilot as well. <laughs> At least we don't get attacked by sharks anymore. <laughs> this reminds me of Valheim when I tried to cross the the water with only a little boat and the sea serpent came. That was not fun, he ran my boat, couldn't get my items back. What is the best? I guess... So the skill tree reduce curse time to half. Don't scare me like that. What? Well, I guess if the lady is... Oh, she's actually hanging on to the rope. That's so cute. <laughs> yeah, you know, these little details are really fun. By the way, your ship loses durability just by sailing, so that's not fun. So 
So what happens if we talk the old man? I mean, we, we have done so much already. What else do we need to do? Oh, don't hit the salty islands. Why oh, is there combat music? So it kind of needs a way to tell you the wind direction, the wind direction and speed. Well, I guess the curse is half, but eh, I don't know about that. I guess it kind of triggers something with the uh, the internal checks of the game. I mean, we're a salty sea bone right now, so there's no stopping us. Hmm, I actually want to get the cannons. The cannons are so... I think this is how you're supposed to aim with the cannons. That scares me every time almost. Because that's the sound he would make when he dies. Well, I guess he does die because he's skin and bones. Well, I guess it's near the raft. <laughs> no, don't damage the ship any further. Well, I guess the ship durability drops a little too fast in my opinion, because if you go from Dead Giant's island to the last city, you basically lose about 10% at least durability. 10%, that's a lot. On the other hand, I guess we have unlocked a lot more elements of the game. I don't think a game should be unlocked based, because that would mean you'll have to play at least 3 or 4 or 6 hours before you get to this point. But it's also the final part. Okay, how do I do this without destroying the ship? Well, I guess we close the sails right now. Don't hit the ship. Whatever, I'm not going to go all that way. This one man needs to build himself a dock. Then we'll talk. Why? What about one of my ignats? I had 10. No, whatever. Let's not think about it. There is no space in front of me. There is no space in front of me. Space in the inventory. You know what? Let's save the game before something bad happens. Shut up, snake. Yeah. Okay, old man, tell me what you want to tell me. Space in the inventory. What about like this? Hi there. Space in the inventory. Hi there. Hi there. There's no space in front of me. Hi there. Golden iron ignites. Oh, okay. Go to wharf. Upgrade ship cannon. Where? Well, I kind of know where to go. We have to go on the dead man, dead giant's island again. Anyway, we'll see each other when we get there this time. That's a huge nail. That was probably the hardest part of the game so far. See you next time. Bye.